Short Stories, Chapter 1, The Little Girl and Mushrooms It was a fine summer morning, perfect to be outdoors. Two sisters had been out mushroom picking, and were on their home with heavy baskets full of mushrooms. They sang songs on the way and played with each other. Soon they reached a point where they had to cross a railway track. They did not think twice about crossing. It since there was no train coming, and they could not hear any whistle, they slowly climbed the embankment to cross the track, taking care not to drop the baskets. They were very near the track, and the little sister was about to cross it when they heard the distinct horn of a train. The older sister got frightened and ran back. She thought that the young one was following her. She turned back and was shocked to see her little sister still crossing the track, come back here. Run back fast, she screamed. It seemed that the little girl could not hear her sister. She was still concentrating on stepping over the track with her little feet and holding on to the basket. Then she tripped and fell on the track. Scattering her mushrooms around, she sat down and began picking them up and putting in her basket. In the meanwhile, the elder sister had become hysteric. She cried and screamed, calling her little sister to leave the mushrooms and run back. But it seemed as though the little one could not hear her. The engine driver panicked on seeing the girl and blew his whistle with all his might. But she appeared not to hear the whistle. Her sister was now crying loudly, overcome by panic, as the little sister crawled between the tracks on her hands and knees to pick the rest of the mushrooms. The engine driver was helpless, as it was not possible for him to stop the engine suddenly. He blew the whistle as hard as he could, but the engine rolled over the little girl. The older sister clasped her face with her trembling hands and cried bitterly. The passengers to panicked at the thought of the sight they would have to witness. The guard ran down to the end of the train to see what happened to the little girl when the train passed. Everybody saw her lying very still between the tracks with her face down. Then she raised her head, sprang to her knees and began gathering the remaining mushrooms. The big sister ran towards her tears streaming down her face. They hugged and kissed each other, crying out of happiness, tears of joy flowing down their little cheeks. Never were the souls so happily united as at that moment. She promised her little sister that thereafter she would hold her hand tightly while crossing the railway line. The two sisters then picked all the remaining mushrooms and hand in hand solemnly walked back home. They were indeed to souls who had become wiser than their years in the span of a few minutes. Chapter 2 The Day Walk Made a Friend Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful and extremely amiable girl named Walk. She was a good girl, but she never liked her name as all the kids around her made fun of her name. She ran away from everybody who teased her name and hence, Walk never really had friends, she would play alone all the time. On a regular day, when Walk returned home from school, she finished her homework as soon as possible and asked her mother if she could go out and play. Her mother said yes, but warned her to not wander and go far away from home. Walk was happy that day. She went to her favorite spot near the river running just behind her house. Walk had this theory that wherever the river was splashing and moving, it meant that the river water was taking to her. Walk spoke back to the river in her own little weird way. Today, when talking to the river, she said, You are so fortunate, river, as you get to travel different places and always be with your friends, ducks, turtles, fishes, and plants. I wish I had more friends and wouldn't be alone anymore. When she was bored talking to the river, she would pick up stones from nearby and try to skip them across the river like her dad, however. She would fail most of the times. She would then say to the river, I am getting better each day. I am more of a thrower than a skipper after many attempts at skipping rock. 
she finally finds a perfect rock almost round flat and protruding at one end where she could hold and skip it in water. She held the stone tight in her fingers and innocently said to the river, Oh dear river, if only I could skip this rock and make a wish, I would wish for a dear friend just like you. And if the rock skips all the way across you while wishing, I wouldn't be as lonely as I am now, saying this. Walk whipped her arm back just like her dad had taught her, and skipped the rock across the river with full force, and dedication. She watched the rock skip once, twice, thrice, and she kept wishing for a friend while counting. To her amazement, the rock went on skipping for the fourth, fifth and sixth time, and eventually on the seventh skip, it finally made it across the river onto the shore of the opposite side. Walk was totally taken aback. She had been holding her breath so hard and wishing so desperately that when the stone skipped the river and landed across, she could not just believe her eyes. Her deep thoughts and sheer happiness were disturbed when she heard footsteps coming her way. Walk immediately came to senses and started looking around. A little girl was tumbling down towards her. Walk panicked and started to run, but she lost her balance and she fell off too. Rolling down towards the river, the unknown little girl and Walk fell almost on the same spot beside each other. The tumbling girl was crying profusely and endlessly holding on to her knee. Walk pulled herself together and went close to the girl to help her. Walk saw that the girl's knee was bleeding. She said the calmest words to her, it will be all right. I will help you clean the wound. Walk took some water from the river, washed away the blood from the wound, tore a piece of cloth from her skirt, and tied it around the wound on the knee to cover the cut. She politely said to the girl, My house is nearby, let me help you. My mother will take care of the wound. Walk helped the girl walk until her house. Once they both had reached Walk's house, Walk called out to her mother, Mother. There is a girl with me and she fell down by the river. Her knee is cut and there is blood all over her dress. On hearing this, Wok's mother came running out of the kitchen with the first aid box. She made the little girl sit on a couch and started cleaning the wound. She cleaned her knee with an antiseptic and applied colorful bandages to lighten up the girl's face. She then inquired the girl asking her where she lived. The girl promptly told Walk and her mother that she had just moved in a house probably next door. All the houses looked so similar that she mixed up the one she lived in. Walk gasped and felt a hint of joy think about her wish. The little girl looked at Walk and asked, What is your name? Walk was stunned and scared to tell her name because she did not want. The girl to make fun of her name like other kids, however. Walk's mother reply, her name is Walk and I am glad she could help you. On hearing this, the little girl began to laugh and almost happened to fall on the ground. Walk felt the pinch and she was on the verge of breaking into tears. Walk closed her eyes and said to herself, Is this the friend I get in return for my wish just then? The girl stopped laughing and voluntarily said, I am sorry for my manners. But it is absolutely funny as my name happens to be Ron. Walk gave a surprised look to her new friend and almost broke into laughter herself. Just to make sure she asked. Ron whether her name was seriously Ron. And she was not trying to make fun of her. Ron reassuringly said to Walk. You helped me and wiped my wound. Why would I ever lie to you or even make fun of you? Listening to these words. Walk felt tremendous happiness and was filled with joy her wish to the river had come true, and now she had a very good friend named Ron. Walk would never forget that day. It was the day Walk and Ron became the best of friends forever. Please like, shares, and subscribe to my page and channel. Channel VSX Learning English, page of Focused English.